The RTS award-winning programme returns for a new hard-hitting series now on BBC One. Affecting children and adults alike, every day this week we're exploring the traumatic effects of bullying. School bullying is one of the government's targets. £470 million has been spent over the next three years to help schools deal with a range of pupil problems, including bullying. Each day this week, we're at Bigwood School in Nottingham. Head teacher Bernadette Groves has invited us here so that we can see how they train pupils to help other children who are being bullied. They call them PLCs, Peer Listening Counselors. How are we doing, sir? Very well, miss. How many of you are thinking of um, applying to be peer counsellors? Oh, excellent. That's lovely. Well done, Year 7. I'm very proud of you. Keep up the good work. I think any school that says they don't have bullying is lying. I think anywhere in the world that says that, because people use power in different ways. What I say about our school is that we know that there are issues, and we do our very best to make sure that we confront the issues. Today, 11-year-old Sophie Fawcy and Anthony Hawkridge are trying to decide whether to apply to the scheme. When the current crop of PLCs speak to his year group, Anthony is listening keenly. So what we're interested in is getting new peer counsellors into the group. And it's you lot that we want to be a new peer counsellor. After the assembly, Anthony is determined to become a PLC. Yeah, I think I'm like a good PLC because uh, I help people at home or my friends and I sometimes help my cousins because they normally fight and I always split the fights up. Sophie is also longing to become a PLC. But I like to sort out my friends' problems and so I think that I can help sort out other people's problems as well. As Anthony and Sophie go home, wondering if they'll get an interview, their fate is being decided by a pupil panel. That's 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 she's got a real yeah. passion yeah. about, yeah. yeah. I think that's definitely... Paula Elliott helps the PLCs sift through the applications. She feels the scheme offers more than a chance to help others. We just find it fantastic to watch them maybe coming in at year sevens, quite shy and timid, uh, and move through the PLC process. It just, we feel it just helps them grow. Anthony and Sophie will be in tenterhooks all weekend, wondering if they've got through. The school playground is often where grown-up bullies get their first lessons in intimidating and undermining others. Schemes like this one try and teach children that bullying is not something to be tolerated. Back at Bigwood School in Nottingham, Anthony and Sophie are on their first day of training as peer listening counsellors. They're being asked to think about the person they might tell their secrets to. What is it about them that makes you want to tell that person your problem or your secret? Anthony, what were you going to say? Be trustworthy. Trustworthy. We've got trust. Do you trust them? OK. It's all part of making them think about what qualities they'll need and the ones they won't. If you came and told them this at your secret, would they go, oh my God, what are we going to do? I've no idea what we're going to do, run around like this. Is that any use to you? No. <coughs> so what's, what's kind of the opposite of that? It's also about teaching them the skills they might not have naturally. The key process of this is about talking and listening well. That's what our peer counsellors do. They offer an ear and they listen and try and find a way forward. They don't solve the problem, but it's the idea of a, a problem talked about is a problem halved. The pair also have to think about the different types of bullying children might be subjected to. Saying stuff behind the back. And what it is that can make bullying so difficult to deal with. Bullying isn't just a one-off, it's constantly, constantly every single day. <laughs> Most probably that. Tomorrow, we'll see whether the children finally make it to put their learning into practice. We're back at the Bigwood School in Nottingham, where all this week we're following the progress of the peer listening counsellors as they learn to tackle the school bullies. You do not give advice. 
Today is the final hurdle for Sophie and Anthony, who've been learning all week how to deal with bullying. It might be the wrong advice. There's bullying in school and bullying in, in right, so I thought I'd try to stop it. There was quite a few fights coming around school, um, like it, during when playtime and dinner time when we started. But since we've heard about PLC, there hasn't been so many. They're learning how to be good listeners, which is exactly what bullied children need. To improve their skills, they're role-playing a bullying situation. Are you OK? Yeah. Hi, my name's Shana. And I'm Sophie. Are you Sean? Yeah. Don't come with us. A good performance here is crucial if they're to get through the training and become peer listening counsellors. OK, before we start, we have to say whatever you say will be confidential. The pressure's on. If they do badly here, they could be booted off the course. But by the end of the two days, both Sophie and Anthony have passed with flying colours. Um, have you told anyone else about this? No. OK. Afterwards, the successful pupils are officially made peer listening counsellors by head teacher Bernadette Groves. Right. OK, everybody. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here and to be awarding you your certificates. And I'm thrilled that you've successfully uh, completed your training. And Sophie. For the pupils, the practice is over. From now on, they'll be doing it for real. Thank you for all the work you're going to be doing for us. You find treasure in hidden places. Children that you would never have thought had these skills. Actually, it gives them an opportunity to flourish. My job as head teacher is to try and make sure that every child has a chance to succeed and to thrive. Anthony. Well done, Anthony. I'm so proud of you and so pleased with you. Thank you for all the help you're going to give us. And I can't tell you what it means to us as a school to have people like you who are going to help us. I feel chuffed. I feel like I'm something special to the school. I just feel really happy that I've got something to do in school. Jessica. We'll return to Bigwood School later in the programme to see how Sophie and Anthony get on. Congratulations on completing your training. We're back at the Bigwood School in Nottingham where all this week we're following the progress of the peer listening counsellors as they learn to tackle the school bullies. And Sophie. Well done, Sophie. Really pleased with you. Well done. And thank you for all the work you're going to be doing for us. Yesterday, we saw Anthony and Sophie pass their training with flying colours. Anthony. Well done, Anthony. I'm so proud of you and so pleased with you. Thank you for all the help you're going to give us. And I can't tell you what it means to us as a school to have people like you who are going to help us. There you go. There's your book, your log book. Thank you. They join the growing number of peer counsellors in Bigwood School. Among them, they can expect to deal with up to three cases of bullying a week. The school has been running the scheme for two years. Older peer counsellors meet every week with teachers to discuss any difficult cases. One bullying victim is being helped by peer counsellor Kirsty Vassell. It's year 10 girl. She was really scared to come to school and I referred her to the head of year, head of year 10. And she says everything's all right now, but they're still being nasty to her. So it's still ongoing. She's yeah. being nasty to her and everything. She's Meanwhile, scared. other victims of bullying have been posting their forms to the peer listening counsellors. Let's see if there's any um, things in the box then. Yeah, there's one note. It's a... See, year 11 girl. Mm -hmm. Boy. Mm, male. Year 7. So, how are you feeling about your first case? Oh, I feel nervous. It'll be alright. Can you remember what you've got to do? Yeah. So, it's your first time? Yeah. In their first cases, Anthony and Sophie are helped by more experienced peer counsellors. Because of confidentiality issues, we can't identify these victims of bullying. In here, please. 
let's sit down. <coughs> right, we'll just introduce ourselves. I'm Anthony. And I'm Rebecca. I'm Tim. And I'm Sophie. Hello. Okay. Um, what exactly has been going on? This is going in year 11, and it got a bit more worse and started pushing me. Now the name called now me. Now got to this. Yeah. The victim in Anthony's case has been bullied because he doesn't have the most fashionable footwear. The new latest trainers. Yes. How would you like us to deal with this? Sophie's victim wants to meet the bully herself to find out why she's been picked on. Would, would you like to be in the room with the bully? Okay. I just want the bully in to start. So would you like... <coughs> had a These meetings between bully and victim can be useful in getting to the cause of the bullying. Anthony and Sophie will arrange further discussions over the weeks. They'll only involve teachers if attacks become more serious or if the bullying doesn't stop. Right this way. You know your way by now, don't you? Both young counsellors found their first cases tough. I'm glad that's over. Yep. So how do you think it went? Scary, but good. A bit obsessed with the hair. Mm. <clears throat> how do you think your first meeting went? It went well. Yeah, did did you still feel nervous once you'd got in? Mm, yeah, but I, I gradually got calm. I had more confidence in there. Sophie and Anthony will have many challenges ahead. What do you think is going to be the most difficult thing about your job? Um, difficult thing is first time case. <laughs> <laughs> that that was quite difficult, but I don't think that will be the diff most difficult because I think we might have maybe a couple that are really, really, really serious. And mm, I did say in my job. interview I would be able to handle it, but I'd still like feel upset because they're to upset. Future. Oh, we've got to get a teacher in one of them if it's serious. Yeah. We'll catch up with Sophie and Anthony tomorrow.